She's going to have to peel off votes from, uh, you know, from some Republicans and some Democrats, a big, a big chunk of votes, really. And of course, Oregon is a, you know, is a Democratic leaning state. Uh, and so you just naturally have more you know, Democratic leaning voters than, than Republican leaning ones. But she has to hope that there actually is some sort of big vote that is sort of in the middle of the electorate and is willing to vote for her. Again, I think the history and the results um, from other states would suggest that that she ultimately has the most uphill climb of the three. Um, but again, it's not like she's a, you know some sort of non-entity and, and just strictly a spoiler in this race. Although you know, I think that if particularly if Drazen wins, um, you know, and you've got a Republican governor in Oregon. I think a lot of Democrats will think that were it not for Johnson in the race, they they would have won. Whether or not that's the case, you know, who knows? I mean, again, this this has not been like a blowout race in, in a lot of recent years in, in, in Oregon. You know, Democrats have won, um, but not by like huge landslide margins. So, um, you know, so in some sense, I think that, you know, if you look at these long streaks, you know, they, they, uh, they tend not to last forever. Uh, you know, I think Oregon is probably going to elect a Republican governor at some point. Uh, question is, is whether it's this year and, and, you know, the opportunity is there, I think.